This is the Benelli TRK502X, and I'm going to take it for a spin, see if it's any good. Right, okay. I am on the Benelli TRK502X. So first impressions getting on this bike. This bike is very tall. That is noticeable right away. I am at five foot seven, 30 inch inseam, and I can only just tippy toe both sides. Now this is the X model, and that means the uh, larger spoked wheels so there is the, uh, the standard model which comes on the cast alloy wheels and uh, that one I'm told is about 15, 20 mil shorter so that might alleviate some of the problems. I'm sure somebody will come up with a kit as well for lowering links and whatnot. Second thing I noticed when I got on this TRK502 is it sounds fantastic. The standard exhaust when I started it up it gave a nice deep burble and um, yeah you know it sort of puts a smile on your face before you clipped into first gear actually. I was um, very impressed with that. So I'm about to uh, join the dual carriageway now, so we'll uh, try the power test up. So I'm going to bring it to third, 4,000 revs, it is a little bit buzzy. And let's see what happens. to 70 miles an hour no problem okay so I'm definitely feeling vibrations through the pegs for sure not necessarily the handlebars but this is a brand new bike so um, the bike hasn't been bedded in yet so we're chucking it along now this is only a 500 cc bike I'm doing nearly 70 miles an hour uh, 6,000 revs it feels okay. Wind protection, we've got a nice big screen here, we've got these little winglets on the side here as well. Oh, that's doing a nice job throwing that, that air up over my head and to the sides actually. That, that screen's doing a nice job, can't complain at that. Okay, so if you were to roll on the throttle from 70 miles an hour on a private, unrestricted road, of course, you will find that the Benelli TRK502 will easily achieve 100 miles an hour. But I don't think this bike's designed to do that. But that wasn't getting close to uh, the red line at all. We have a nice, big, sweeting area. The, 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 the seat is really well cushioned actually, that feels really nice. My legs are um, probably about a 90 degree angle but I've got bags of room and the arms are outstretched. The handles are not too wide on this bike actually, which is, um, uh, it, I mean it comes to personal preference really, me personally I prefer it to be a little bit wider than that but these are swept back a little bit, probably because of the size of the bike. But there's some adjustability there, we can uh, loosen these and uh, you know, move the bars. I would probably bring them back towards me a little bit for personal preference. You can't ignore that this bike makes a lovely noise. This is the copy of the Honda CB500 engine. It's tried and tested in bikes like the, uh, the Honda Rebel. It's putting out around just under 50 horses and just under 50 torques and that is plenty enough really for um, yeah for everyday riding I'd say easily achieving the speed limit no problem at all and uh, it will definitely go on further than that we've got two nice big wing mirrors all very clear in the wing mirrors we can see they're no problem at all sometimes the, um, the more budget bikes they vibrate a lot so much so that uh, everything else is moving around but no such issue there 
nice, simple, straightforward, easy to read and use dash. No TFT on this one. Move from left to right. We have indicators. We have high and low beam for the light. We've got the horn. How's that sound? Meep, meep, like a moped scooter. A Danelli sound bomb will be required. <laughs> on the other side here, we have your hazards and your kill switch. Again, that, that exhaust does give a really nice little note actually, <laughs> very nice. So, pulls away nicely from the start. This engine is known really for its low end torque, you know, this isn't a racing bike, it's not designed to be ragged along the you know the road if you're looking for a faster bike you know there are other options but you could definitely use this for a, a long distance tour and at, you know the price that it's coming in at it's really hard to argue against isn't it now we have to ignore the urge to drive up the ramp on the back of that lorry every one of us bikers is thinking it let it go leave it alone <laughs> i digress So this bike is quite happy chugging along at low revs. 30 miles an hour in fourth gear and the bike is very happy indeed. Could probably go up one. Fifth gear, 30 miles an hour, 3,000 revs. Sixth gear, two and a half thousand revs, 30 miles an hour. And moves along actually if you uh, give it a little bit of gas. So I can see here that we've got a, uh, a power outlet there. Excellent for touring. We can also see that we have somewhere to mount your sat nav right away. Now this bike does look like a, a fantastic option really price wise it's hard to to argue against you know they got a deal one at the minute where you're getting the luggage with it now this isn't cheap rubbish luggage this is proper givey tracker boxes i think they are um, but they're the exact same panniers that i bought with my triumph and i bought them on offer at 1200 quid i think they're about 1500 quid um, and they're chucking those in for free crash bars good set of crash bars there that stick out a good way past the handlebars they are on as standard we have a center stand that is on as standard we have metal um, uh, bar and protectors here for want of a better word without mentioning another brand again that is there as standard when you add up all of these extras well they would be extras on um, other branded bikes anyway and you will have paid twice the money for uh, you know something like the the Triumph or Africa Twin or whatever before you even start adding the extras this bike starts to look like a steal really bargain of the century I hope you can hear that noise in the bike it's, it sounds really good I think the, uh, the noise test from this is well and truly passed. Very good. Right, hopefully I'll be able to find a, a little lay-by or something. We'll have a little walk round of the bike and uh, we'll show that to you. Benelli is known, I mean, it's, it's a Benelli is an Italian name, it's not really an Italian brand anymore, um, you know, a Chinese company bought them out and, uh, you know, I believe they are manufactured in China now, I won't get into all that, you can look that up for yourself, all I really care about is what I'm getting for my money, you know, is the bike any good? 
So I'd love for you guys in the comments to let me know if you've bought a Benelli, particularly this model, has it proved to be reliable, you know? Um, I, I'd really like to know about it. I think for a, a bike at this price range, what you do get is everything necessary and not too much more. So let's have a look at it. So let us have a look at this Benelli TRK 502X. So the first thing that we notice about this bike is the sheer size of it. It is a big tall bike, but I like that. It looks like a good quality adventure bike. Now, look at this bike from the front. Look at those crash bars there. Those come free with this bike, included as standard. Now they're sticking out further than those handlebars. And on the handlebars, we also have the metal guards as well. So in the event of a drop, I think you can be confident this bike is going to be good. So these are those metal guards that we have fitted here. They might not be as strong as other brands, but, you know, they come included with the bike. You can't ask for more than that. It's much better than those cheap plastic flimsy ones, you know. Check out this seat nice big padded comfy seat looks really nice even the stitching and detailing is actually very good so if we have a look at this exhaust it might remind you of another exhaust from another very well-known large adventure bike it sounds the part and it looks the part as well I, I really do like that if we look down here we have these Benelli disc brakes and I'm told that the same company makes these also makes the Brembo which is fitted to some of the other Benelli bikes so here we have the um, well we're calling it the copy of the Honda CB500 engine uh, with excellent service intervals on the bike they do in a oil change at 600 miles and the first service is at 6,000 miles well, that's the same as your big brands. Same again up front here. Benelli discs, twin discs, and again, those are made by the same company who makes the Brembos. We got nice, excellent Metzler Torrance tyres fitted to the bike from standard, and a nice 19 inch spoked wheel. So, there we can see we have the centre stand. Again, fitted from standard. And this one also has bobbins on the rear, which is interesting. I'm not sure why that's there. If we have the centre stand. It's a nice quality pillion pegs. Both the pillion pegs and the rider pegs both have rubber inserts, and I'm sure they're removable. Um, but you probably don't want to remove those. The, the one thing I did notice with these is there is a bit of vibration through the pegs. Oh, excellent. So we have a, a USB outlet there and a nice well-fitting waterproof cap on the top as well. Again, a lot of bikes, you're going to have to fit your own uh, accessory port to the bike. I think this bike's shaping up to look like excellent value for money. So on the rear of the bike, we do get this... Uh, plastic although that does feel quite flimsy but they all do to be fair and you do get a bit of a hugger there there's a, a mud flap at the back there protecting the rear shock as well oh, and we have a, a nice splash guard here on the back and again Metzler Torrance tyres so for the pillion we've got some nice good thick quality grab rails the rack is already here fitted and of course they're going to put the Givy luggage on for you as well as an offer at the minute now check out how bright those indicators are. Really nice bright LED lights there. I have to say, looking around the bike, it does seem to be made of, you know, nice looking parts. The Italians are known for making a good design and, you know, we can see they've done that. And they haven't skimped out either, you know, we've got quality brakes, we've got quality tyres. They're giving you givey luggage, big comfortable seat. I haven't got too much bad to say about this, really. Right, so let's throw a leg back over the Benelli TRK 502X. 
listen to that noise. That's fantastic. Certainly at low revs on these A roads, the vibration isn't a problem. And this is definitely where this bike is happy. The bike likes to have the revs nice and low in a high gear chugging along. And it has, you know, ample enough torque and power to pull you along if you need it, no problem at all. Now there's a lot of advantages to having a bike that isn't huge with power. You know, your insurance is gonna be lower the value of the bike is cheaper, again, driving the insurance quote lower. Your fuel costs are going to be lower. I think at the times that we have at the minute, these bikes are starting to appeal to a lot of people. You know, we all have to be a bit more conscious of the budget. And this is half the price of something like an Africa Twin or GT Pro. And um, it's a lot cheaper than the new DS. So I think there's a strong argument for these Chinese bikes. But the big question is reliability. How long is this gonna last? Is it gonna spend a lot of time, you know, in the, uh, in the workshop under that warranty? I don't know. Hopefully some of you guys do, and you can chime in and let us know what your experience is with the Benelli. So I've been riding this bike a little while now, and I have to say, when it comes to comfort, it's really good. I'm loving the seat. The suspension, I would say, is on the fairly firm side, but not to a point where it's causing a problem. But um, it's not sagging a huge amount when I get on and off, which is a good sign, I think. I'm sure as, um, you know, as time goes on, that may soften up a little bit. And so to start out on the more firm side makes sense to me. It is an adjustable suspension. Um, so that you, uh, you would need to get the tools out or make your own uh, adaptations to this bike or modifications, I think. But riding it, I found no issues with the suspension and um, I'm certainly not a, uh, you know, a small guy or a light guy. So this is definitely big enough. It's definitely roomy enough. It's comfortable. Performance-wise, it's ample, I think, for the road. My only concern for this bike would be it is of a, a vibey nature um, but it is a twin it is a 500 so I think you need to keep the revs down and uh, you know accept it for what it is going along at, you know 70 miles an hour on the motorway and you know not pushing along too much but at these speeds and on these twisties it handles great it feels great it sounds great the price looks very enticing I have to say, I haven't got too much negative to say about it. I honestly think that you could pick this bike up from the showroom here at Rainbow Motorbikes and um, they're going to chuck on the luggage for you as well, in with the deal. Perhaps put some uh, Oxford heater grips on for this time of year. I and mean, you, could, you could pick this up and go straight off on your travels with this. And hopefully you could be very confident with it. Uh, they got lots of, um, you know, a strong dealership network. So if you needed to find a dealer on your travels, hopefully you would be able to find one. But there's not too much complicated electricery going on here. So, you know, hopefully, even with basic tools you would be able to fix you know most problems you would encounter along the way with this bike so the brakes do feel nice and strong actually I don't have any lack of confidence in this bike just because it costs considerably less than the, the bigger brands.
Right, well that is the Benelli TRK502X and I have to say I've just taken it for a good test ride and, um, and I do mean a good test ride and it's only a 500cc bike. Uh, this bike moves along with more power than you're going to need on the road legally and if you manage to find a, a private unrestricted road we'll say. The engine size isn't really a problem. The only issue that I found with the bike is that it is a bit vibey but it is a parallel twin and that can sometimes be expected. Value for money, show me a bike that, you know, that can beat this. With full pannier setup, you know, a good tested engine, crash bars, you've got decent Metzler Tourette's tires, you've got um, centre stand fitted on the bike, and it sounds fantastic. I have to say I quite like it. I think this is an excellent deal. Right, well, I really enjoyed my uh, ride on the Benelli, more than I probably thought I would, to be honest with you. I'd love to stand here and slate it, but I can't. Thanks to these guys here at Rainbow Motorbikes and the Recharge Cafe. Um, yeah, really impressed with the bike. So let us know your thoughts on reliability if you've owned the Benelli, and we'll see you in the next one.